Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Adulting with Hannah. I'm Hannah here today to talk about some more cheap online budget prescription glasses. So if you're interested to see me compare two different online glasses providers, then keep on watching. Okay, so I've done a video on Zinni Optical, which is an online prescription glasses provider. They provide frames and prescription lenses for like normal clear glasses, sunglasses, and the like. And now I'm also going to be comparing Zenny Optical to another similar retailer called iBuyDirect. And I have two pairs of glasses from each provider and I'm gonna be kind of comparing them. I have a breakdown of how much they cost, um, comparatively on average, what they offer, and all that good stuff. So I think this is gonna be a pretty good breakdown of the two and they're very different, but also similar obviously in what they provide. So, and then at the end I'll tell you which ones I prefer because I have actually been wearing the glasses for months now, switching, switching them out, wearing one pair one day and another pair another day, paying attention to the differences, what I notice, how comfortable they are, and all of that. So I think I have a pretty good breakdown of the two. There was really no reason for me to choose between these two. So this was mostly just kind of a word of mouth thing that made me decide to purchase these. I was not contacted by either company. Neither of them told me to talk about this. Neither of them provided me glasses, none of that. I just bought them myself because I, I wear glasses. <laughs> so previously before buying glasses like this, I just did the normal, go to the eye doctor, buy lenses, buy frames for whatever price and just did that. So usually I would leave spending upwards of $400 on frames and lenses. So we'll kind of use that as a normal um, situation to compare it to. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the first glasses I purchased were from Zenni, and if you watched my other video, you'll recognize them. They are these navy blue, oh, they're really dirty. <laughs> I like set them out on my makeup counter and then did my makeup, so I'm pretty sure they have uh, powder on them, but anyways. These are the ones I've talked about in my other video. I still love them, I still wear them. They're just blue plastic frames, no nose pieces, lenses. And then these are the ones that I had purchased the clip-ons for which I have used. Um, I have two clip-ons for these lenses and these ones are just normal sunglasses and then these ones are my 3D glasses, which I, th have I used these? Yes, I've used them once. I just don't go to that many 3D movies, but it's great, they work. Um, if you wear glasses and need 3D lenses, then this is the best choice because I hate wearing the movie theater ones over my normal glasses, it's really annoying, but these ones just kind of clip on and then I can watch a 3D movie. So as far as like the sunglasses go um, for the clip-ons, I still prefer to just wear my normal sunglasses, which are from my eye doctor. So they were like expensive, but um, these are the sunglasses. Zinni has prescription sunglasses too, or both, both of these do. So anyways, that's just kind of a recap on the first video. So since then, I have purchased another pair of glasses from Zenny. These ones are a red to pink ombre. Ooh, did you see my eyeball? Eh. <laughs> and they're much smaller, if you kind of hold them side by side. They're quite a bit smaller, but I kind of wanted something smaller. So um, yeah, these ones are just kind of cute. I like how they kind of go to almost like my skin color on the bottom. And they're very comfortable and lightweight, and I can see. So that's what's important. All of these glasses, I don't have any vision problems. I'm just gonna clear that up now. None of them give me headaches or abnormal vision. Like I switch between them almost daily and I don't notice a difference even between the two different brands. So I just wanna get that out there. But I did get my prescription from my eye doctor. This is my eye doctor prescription, up to date within the last year, all that. So there's um, that. Okay, Zenni glasses also come with this case. It's just a plastic case and it has um, like soft micro suede on the inside. And they come with a cleaning cloth, which I love. So I have two glasses, cases, and a clean, two cleaning cloths from Zenni, which is great. Moving on to my Eye by Direct glasses. These were the first ones I got. And I will link all the style numbers down below. I don't have them off the top of my head. I'll have to go back and look, but I'll put them in the description box if you really like these or want to buy them. Okay, these are the first pair of Eye by Direct glasses I got. They are a clear frame. Uh, I would call them a cat eye. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I don't know if anybody else would agree, but I call them cat eye. And they're much bigger. I think they're even bigger than these blue ones. 
and I these are probably my favorite I probably wear these the most I just like that they're clear um, they do kind of hide my brows which I, I do tend to avoid with glasses like I think it looks better when you can see your brows but since they're clear it doesn't really bother me it's just hard to tell when you're buying them online if they're gonna cover your brows or not like you can put the like they have the thing where you like take your picture and they put the glasses on you but it's like it's still hard to tell but it doesn't really bother me I still wear them the most so I really like these and they do have wire inside the temple I don't know if you can see that there is a wire inside the temple which to my limited knowledge helps adjust them so if you did want to go to your eye doctor and ask them to adjust your glasses I think that having this metal in the frame helps because um alternatively these ones don't have that they have a little bit here i can see but the whole thing doesn't so anyways just pointing that out but it's also different i'm sure frame to frame and then these ones i actually just got last week oh wait has it even been a week yet i think i've been wearing them about four days but these ones are much different than all of my other glasses. They are wire rim with nose pieces. I just wanted to try those because I have not had glasses with nose pieces since my very first pair in like second grade. So these ones I'm obsessed with. Again, these are from I Buy Direct. And if you look really closely, rather than try to get close, I'm just gonna show you. They are like a pink, gold, and black it's almost like a cheetah print. Now on the frame it looks like stripes, but on the temple you can really see how it's kind of like a cheetah print pattern. And it's like a baby pink, golden black. And I am, I'm just in love with them. I sent a Snapchat to my friends and they thought that it was like a cute Instagram filter, which I love that vibe. Um, and so far I have had a good time with the nose pieces. They haven't caused any pain here. I've, I've heard people talk about like, oh, it's like really hard to get used to that. Um, I kind of had to adjust them a little bit just with my hands. Like I just kind of pushed them a little. They were a little close together for the bridge of my nose, but they're meant to be adjusted. And of course you can probably go to your eye doctor or even like, um, like the target optical, like they'll tell you like, we aren't responsible if we break them, but like, they're not going to break them. Yeah. I love these. These are great. Um, so far I've been wearing them for like four days and I haven't had any issues with how comfortable they are. So those are the frames. I'm going to leave these ones on because I can't yeah. see. We're going to kind of break down kind of the more nitty gritty price points, um, options, and all that good stuff. So let's start with Zenny. Oh, maybe I should put my Zenny glasses on while I talk about Zenny. Let's do that. I'm going to do the red ones because they're not as dirty. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Zenny glasses. So what I did to get an average price was I went to Women's Frames because I'm a woman and I averaged the price of the first 20 pairs on the best sellers for women. So the frame average price for the first 20 pairs of Zenny glasses was $12.25. Now that's for the frames. So we're going to get into the other cost. So if you go to the website and you look at the frames, that's not what you're going to be spending necessarily. It is possible to spend that much, but I wouldn't recommend it and we'll get to why. Okay, so for the lens options for Zenny, there is a range in price from $0 to $35. So that is just the, okay, I don't know what this means. I'm not an eye doctor, but there is something called an index. I don't know what it is. Their recommended is the 1.5 standard index and it is free. And they also have a 1.57 mid index, which is also free. But then they have everything up to a, the most expensive is the 1.67 high index, which is 35. What is an index? I don't know. Could I have Googled it? Yes. Oh, okay. Here. Research. Research is power. Knowledge is power. Index has to do with the thickness of the lens. So if you have a really strong prescription, it could make your lens thicker, but if you go to higher index glasses lens, it can make the lens thinner. But I don't have a high prescription, so I get the low index. Or I'm sorry, it's called standard index on here. So that's what I have. Cause I don't Next are lens tents. So you can pick any glasses frame that you like and get them as sunglasses with, okay. They have no lens tent, which is obviously just this uh, standard lens tent, which they have like over 10, almost 20 colors, 
dark gray, dark amber, dark green, dark gray with a mirror, dark amber with a mirror, dark green with a mirror. I mean, they have everything. Fuchsia, lavender, orange, rose, yellow. I mean, you can get anything. And then they also have gradient lens tints, which are more limited, but I mean, they have gray, amber, green, blue, pink, purple, gray with a mirror, amber with a mirror, green with a mirror for a gradient lens tint. The standard lens tint's $5 and the gradient lens tint is $8. Pretty reasonable in my opinion. The next thing that Zinni offers is blue blockers, which are very trendy right now, I think. Everybody's talking about blue blockers. And it's all these girls that don't even have a prescription and they're just getting blue blockers. I'm like, okay. I've never tried them. That's why I'm acting so sarcastic, just because I've never tried them and I don't, I don't know if they help. Um, so I'm ignorant, but my boyfriend uses them and he should have glasses, but he doesn't, but he got some non-prescription blue blockers. Anyways, blue blockers are offered starting at $17. So if you require blue blockers, you're gonna spend $17 minimum. And they have blue blockers offered all the way up to $50 for high index blue blockers. So you're gonna spend the $16 plus whatever it would cost for the high index thinner lenses if you have a high prescription. And then they have photochromic blue blocks or blue blockers and photochromic are like transition lenses. There are multiple schools of thought about transition lenses and I think they're stupid, but they are offered on this website if you like them. And you can get blue blockers that are also transition, which I think transition lenses is a like a brand, but these ones are called photochromic. So they get darker in sunlight. Okay, moving on. Um, lens index. Oh, I think we're still on the blue blockers. Polarized. Oh, okay, here we go. They have polarized lenses. They're not photochromic. Polarized lenses range from $33 to $100. Um, $102 are the most expensive. They have um, photochromic lenses as well, ranging from $70 to $170 for transition. There's a whole thing. There's a lot. I'm not going to go through all the options, but there's a lot of options for tinted, non tinted blue blockers and high index lenses with Zinni. Okay, so what I said earlier about um, expect to spend more than the lens, the frame's price, which is expected, it's not that much with Zenny. So I chose a standard index lens, which means I don't need my lens to be thinned out. And then I'm saying that like I've known that this whole time and I literally just researched it. Uh, standard index, no lens tint. Now, the thing that I spend money on is the coating. It's the top coat on the lens. And I just really don't think you can get glasses without an anti-reflective coating. Like you can go to your eye doctor and like try on different lenses without and with, and it's honestly, it's a world of difference. And I just, I would not recommend getting glasses without an anti-reflective coating. And the anti-reflective coating on Zenni starts at $5. So get it, honestly. I get the ones that are $9. It's a coating that's um, hydrophobic and anti-reflective. And that is because I work in orthodontics and I get water on my glasses all the time. So it's really nice just to kind of have it clean easily. And these ones are hydrophobic and my blue ones are not. And I really notice a difference and I prefer the hydrophobic. Honestly, even if you don't work in a field where you get splashed with water all the time, just like being out in the rain, snow, I mean, anything like that. I think having the hydrophobic is worth it. There's also oleophobic, which is oil and fingerprint resistant, and it's $15, which I haven't done that. I just get the hydrophobic anti-reflective, but that's $15 if you want to do that. So just plan on if you don't need a higher index lens, paying an extra $5 on top of the frame's price just because that's the coating and I would highly recommend that coating. The last feature offered by Zenni would be the clip-ons, which is not something that I buy direct offers that I've seen. For the most part, on all the lenses that I've looked at, um, which is a lot, um, Zenni offers clip-ons for those lenses and they are going to be like this, with the this part i'm not gonna lie can be annoying this little hooky part i have worn them a few times and it can be annoying not gonna lie but what is my hair doing anyways uh it can be annoying but i got i, I get used to it but at the same time i do tend to prefer to wear my normal prescription sunglasses so maybe that is subconsciously something to do with it but they have one two three four five six clip-on options just for this particular frame that I clicked on, which was like the first one on the website. Um, they have clip-on sunglasses in five colors and then the 3D movie ones, and they are all ranging from $4 to $6. So, oh, 
sorry, there is one more customization option. Um, so I'll get to that in a second. So the clip-ons, I think, if that is something you're into, is very a, a good selling point for Zenny because honestly, just if you go to movies a lot like I do, go get a pair of Zenny glasses with clip-ons because <laughs> like the 3D glasses clip-ons. Because holy moly, it makes a huge difference. I don't know. That might be just a me thing, but I go to the movies a lot, and I hate 3D glasses. So, and it saves it saves the environment. I know they say they they um recycle them but like who honestly knows okay the last thing that I see here um, for personalization on Zenny glasses is you can put text <laughs> on the temple which if you lose your glasses in a lot maybe putting your phone number on there is not a bad idea but I don't take my glasses off so maybe if they're like sunglasses or something but you can put um, text on the outside or the inside and if you want it on the inside it's two dollars and if you want it on the outside it's four dollars Oh, and they have Greek letters. I don't know, that might be something people are into. I'm not into it, but it's an option. Okay, so that is Zinni. So the average frames price is $13, let's round up. So you're gonna spend under $20 if you have standard lenses and just want that anti-reflective coating um, on average for Zinni. They do have more expensive glasses and all that. I mean, it, there's a range obviously, but like I said, I just averaged together the most popular um, Glass affordable. Let's move on to, I'm gonna change my glasses here. Let's move on to iBuy Direct. These are my newest iBuy Direct frames. Freaking love them. Okay, so iBuy Direct, this is what your glasses will come in. It's a box. It slides out and it has the bag that they can go in. That is it, that's all it comes with. I don't really mind that because I'm not gonna lie, I don't use a glasses case. I don't carry this around with me ever. I keep my clip-ons in here <laughs> and my other one is empty. So that's not a big deal for me. They do have upgrade options for cases and I did not look and see how much those were, but you can get a case with your glasses if you want, but you do have to pay for it. Zenny, this comes with your glasses. You don't have to pay extra for it. They do have nicer ones that you can pay for that are like leather or like not plastic, but you don't have to pay for that. So that's that starting out. Um, so let's go through again. I did the best sellers first 20 pairs average for women and the average price is $41 for frames. That is quite a significant difference in my opinion from the 1225. So there's that. That's the information. Ta -da. I did research for this video, by the way. Like, look at this. I wrote stuff down. I don't know. I think that deserves a like. This took me an hour to prepare. I did my hair. It looks horrible, but I did it. So, effort. Something I like about iBuyDirect that is not something that I have seen on Zenny, not that it's not there, I haven't looked at every single pair, but frame sizes. Frame sizes. So, this pair, for example, came in small and medium, I think. Or maybe that was this pair. I don't know. They come in different sizes, small, medium, large. And you can look them up and they'll do the thing where they put it on your face or they'll give you measurements. But I think that's really nice because if you see a pair that you really like and they're huge on your head in the little virtual try-on, you can sometimes, not always, sometimes get a smaller size of the exact same frame. I think that's kind of nice because I've run into that issue. Either they're too small or too big. Like these ones, for example, I wouldn't mind having a bigger size. I think they are just very slightly too narrow for my face. Very slightly. Not enough for me to like not like them, but they could be a little bigger, a little wider. So these ones are mediums and these are large. I think I might be wrong. I'll put it down below because I really don't remember. So that's nice. I like that. That is a big win for me. Um, lens options. Um, so they kind of have a different format when you go through the lens options. And it's important to think of it as two different things. You're paying for the frames and you're also paying for the lens. So for the frames, the average price is $40, like I said. So moving on to the lens options. They have lens options for distance, which is what I have. They have lens options for just reading glasses, which some people that wear corrective lenses also need reading glasses. And finally, my mom's eye doctor was like, why don't you just get prescription reading glasses? And she was like, duh. So that's an option on iBuyDirect, which I did not see as an option for Zenny, but maybe that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not possible. Maybe it's just a different prescription. I'm not an eye doctor. I don't know how that works. So um, they also have multifocus, which 
I don't remember seeing as an option on Zenny. But maybe it is. But that just means like bifocal or trifocal. So they have that. Um, and then you can also just get the frames with no prescription, which I'm sure you could do with Zenny as well. But that's like, it's like walks you through these steps, which is kind of nice. Because then you kind of know what you're looking at um, or what you need. So that's cool. I kind of like, I kind of like that process better the way they walk you through your lenses. They have blue blockers and they range from 19 to $81 for the blue blocker coating, which I'm pretty sure it's probably a similar breakdown to Zenni. Um, they also have glasses options. You can get glasses for, with any frame and they do the gradients, they do the mirrors and they do the polarized gradients. Um, are like ten dollars mirrors mirror uh, coatings are like thirty dollars and you can get polarized lenses uh, sunglasses lenses ranging from fifty to eighty dollars on iBuyDirect and they also offer light adjusting slash transition lenses whatever you want to call it and they range from thirty five dollars to one hundred and forty dollars I don't know much about the quality of their light adjusting lenses or anything so that's something to pay attention to um, when you're buying transition lenses, but honestly just don't buy transition lenses because I think they're stupid. Just get sunglasses. Okay. Okay. So here's the difference with the lens coatings slash indexes with I buy direct versus any I buy direct. You can get an index and a coating separately. So if you want a high index, but a basic coating, you can do that. I buy direct the index and the coating are kind of hand in hand. So they have the standard lenses and their standard lenses come with anti scratch, anti reflective coating and that is seven dollars so that's basically like the five dollar or what was it six dollars from zenny for the coating but this also comes with just a standard index the next one is the they're most popular it says they are um, quality index so they're 0 0.09 index higher <laughs> they're 1.59 index they have uv protection anti-scratch and anti-reflective so that adds on the um, UV and it says it could be up to 20% thinner, which for me is not an issue, but so you have to buy the coatings that you want along with the index. And those ones are $20, $18.95, which is quite a bit more, but you're really just paying for UV protection and thinner, which I don't need. So I usually get the standard. I think on these ones I bought, um, I think on these ones I bought the $19 ones now that I think about it. Okay, so then they have advanced, which is just a higher index, and then premium, which is an even higher index. And the premium has anti-smudge and water resistance. And if you want the premium, you're gonna pay $80. So to get the hydrophobic um, coating that you want, it's $80, but you get a really high index and UV blocking and um, anti-reflective coating. So just to compare on Zenny, it was what, $8 or something for hydrophobic. So that's just a comparison in price. Okay. So we've talked about pricing. We've covered everything. The last thing is just that I buy direct does not have clip-ons. I, I have not extensively looked at every single pair of glasses on the website, but I have never seen a clip-on, whether it's ones that just come, like glasses that come with special clip-ons or anything, I've never noticed that. So that's just not an option for iBuyDirect that I have seen. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Okay, so second to last, I'm just gonna talk about which one I prefer. So if I were just to buy from one of these two online glasses uh, retailers, it would be iBuyDirect. I would personally purchase from iBuyDirect. I think they are more expensive, but I think you are getting a better quality frame and lens for the price. And I don't think at the end of the day, the price is really that much different. There's always a sale. Use Honey, not sponsored, sponsor me, but not sponsored. Um, right now for the President's Day sale, they're having buy one, get one free on iBuyDirect. Again, they're not paying me to say this. I just really like iBuyDirect. So there's always a sale. and. I think that the quality is just better. Um, when I notice, when I wear my Zenny glasses, I can definitely feel a lower quality. The lenses are thinner. I have, like, Cora has actually, like, laid on my face and, like, pushed the lenses up against my face. Like, I could feel them bend and push into my cheek, which, like, I have pretty deep set eyes. Like, that takes a lot. 
I didn't notice any issues with the lenses. It was these ones. I didn't notice any issues with the lenses afterwards, but I can just definitely feel a quality difference and I just would prefer to pay I buy direct prices. They are still so cheap. You can still get really cute prescription glasses for 50 bucks. Like I paid $500 for my other glasses that I got at the eye doctor. It's insane. So now the last thing I want to talk about is the return policy. I have not memorized their return policies, but I did have a return situation with iBuyDirect and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. I left it for the end in case you don't care. So if you don't care, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. If you do want to hear about my return situation with iBuyDirect and keep watching till the end, I'll cover that very so, quickly. So the very first pair of glasses that I got were not right for my face. So I chose the large size. Remember how I said they have like small, medium, large? I chose large and it was just way too wide for my face. Like I do kind of want the temples to rest against my face. I don't want them to push up against my face, but I want them, I want to be able to feel them right here. And they just were like, way out here. So I emailed or whatever chat, online chat or whatever with iBuyDirect and I was like, hey, these don't really work. Can I get a different pair? And they were like, sure. Now I didn't ask for a refund, like to send them back and get money back. I don't know if that's possible. I didn't ask for that. I wanted a pair. So I didn't do that. I just asked if I could get a new pair. And they said, sure, pick out a pair. So I like went online, picked out a pair, emailed back. I was like, hey, I want these. They're like, perfect. There's a dollar 40 difference. So we're going to deposit a dollar 40 into your account immediately. I had a dollar 40. I didn't really care. Like I wouldn't have even asked, but if there was a difference, they put it right back into my account and they like started making the glasses right away. The new ones that I wanted. I hadn't even, I hadn't even printed the shipping label to return the ones that didn't fit. Okay. So they were just like, yeah, we're gonna make new ones. And I think that they had shipped me my new ones before I even got my lazy ass around to shipping back the ones that didn't work. So of course they could just charge you for them if you didn't send them back in a decent amount of time. But like, in the week that like they made me my new glasses and shipped them, I hadn't even sent back the ones that, that I didn't like. So they're really good about um, just getting you what you want. Just that's my little attestment to that. I have never done that with Zinni. I've never had to send a pair back, so I don't know. But I buy direct, very on top of it. And they got me exactly what I wanted. And then I, I got these and I love them. So that's that if you get a pair you don't like. Cause I know it is, and I think they are aware of this too. It is really hard to choose glasses online. That is a downside just in general to purchasing glasses online. It's, you can't, you can't try them on. You can put them on a virtual image of your face, but like, it's really hard. So, um, that was really nice. So I, with almost no delay, I got, uh, another pair of glasses that I did like. So there's that. Okay. That's the end. That's all I have to talk about. And if you have any questions, let me know. And please comment down below if you have any online glasses retailers that you'd like me to try because I'm always down to try new ones. I've looked at some, but I've never purchased any from any other ones. So let me know or even sunglasses online. Um, but I do kind of want to keep it at a lower price point. So don't send me like super expensive stuff because I'll just ignore it because I'm poor. In that case, speaking of poor, uh, please like this video <laughs> and subscribe so I can earn more money on YouTube and buy more glasses. Uh. Okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.